In this video, I compare two of the most popular types of cookware, stainless steel and cast iron. You'll learn how they stack up in terms of cooking performance, maintenance, price, and much more. Plus, I explain which foods you should cook with cast iron and which foods are better suited for stainless steel. So if you're in the market for new cookware, but you can't decide between stainless steel and cast iron, keep watching. To better understand how these two types of cookware perform, you first need to understand their makeup. Cast iron is 98% iron and 2% carbon. It's made by pouring molten iron into sand molds, which is then cooled and hardened. The carbon content in cast iron increases hardness, but it also makes the material more brittle. That's why cast iron cookware has thick and heavy walls. The thickness of cast iron cookware makes up for its brittleness. On the flip side, stainless steel cookware can be constructed in a variety of ways with many different materials, and the process is a bit more complicated. Because stainless steel doesn't conduct heat well on its own, most brands create their pans by bonding exterior layers of steel with a heat conductive core layer, such as copper or aluminum. These materials are then punched into the shape of pans by a machine. This process of bonding different metals together is often referred to as cladding, and the resulting cookware is marketed as multi-clad or fully clad. Some brands layer the conductive materials throughout the pan, while others bond it only to the base. When aluminum or copper is bonded only to the base, the sides of the cookware don't heat as evenly. The point here is that most cast iron pans are made of just cast iron, and the walls are thick. Because of that, the performance is similar across brands. Since bonded stainless steel is ductile, it can be made thinner and bent into shape. And since the materials and construction of stainless steel pans can vary significantly across brands, the performance varies too. Because of its thickness, most cast iron pans are significantly heavier than stainless steel. The exact weight varies by piece and brand, but in general, cast iron cookware is approximately twice as heavy as stainless steel. For example, most 12-inch cast iron skillets weigh between 7 and 8 pounds, and 12-inch stainless steel skillets weigh between 3 and 4 pounds. Since stainless steel is lighter, it's easier to manipulate. You can toss food, flip burgers, and move pans easily between the cooktop and the oven. Moving a cast iron skillet requires oven mitts and two sturdy hands, especially when you factor in the weight of the pan plus the food. Stainless steel pans, especially ones with fully clad construction, distribute heat more evenly than cast iron pans. As I mentioned, stainless steel is not a conductive material on its own, but since stainless steel pans are made with a highly conductive aluminum or copper core, they heat up fast and evenly. Because cast iron pans are thicker than stainless steel, and cast iron has a lower thermal conductivity than the materials used as the core layers of stainless steel cookware, it heats slower. As it's heating up, the middle of the pan closest to the heat will be significantly hotter than the sides. If a cast iron skillet is too big for the burner, food in the middle will cook faster than the edges, as you can see with these chicken cutlets. To further illustrate this point, I poured two cups of cold water into 12-inch cast iron and stainless steel pans and turned the heat to high. The water in the stainless steel pan started boiling after 2 minutes and 55 seconds, and the water in the cast iron pan started boiling after 3 minutes and 34 seconds. Cast iron may not heat up as fast or evenly as stainless steel, but due to its thick construction, it has far superior heat retention. In other words, once a cast iron skillet is hot, it stays that way longer. Heat retention comes in handy when you're entertaining. You can turn the burner off and the food will stay warm while you prepare the rest of the meal. It's also beneficial for searing, because the pan doesn't lose much of its heat when you slap a cold or room temperature piece of meat on it. Its ability to hold temperature so stable is why cast iron is the ultimate cookware for searing. Don't get me wrong, stainless steel pans, especially good quality fully clad pans, retain heat well, but not at the same level as cast iron. To prove this point, I removed both pans from the heat and set them on the counter to cool. After 10 minutes, the water in the cast iron pan was 104 degrees Fahrenheit, and the water in the stainless steel pan was only 96 degrees Fahrenheit. Stainless steel is the ultimate all-purpose cookware. You can use it to sear meat and fish, saute vegetables, boil pasta, simmer sauces, and much more. Because it's non-reactive and heats evenly, you can cook anything and perform any cooking technique. Cast iron is also versatile. You can use it for searing, roasting, sauteing, frying, baking, and cooking eggs. Although you can tackle a wide range of meals with cast iron, 
there are a few limitations. Acidic foods can degrade the seasoning and react with the metal, and boiling water for longer than a few minutes can also release the seasoning. Also, cast iron tends to absorb the flavor of the food you cook, so fish and other pungent ingredients can linger in the skillet and impact your next meal if you don't clean it thoroughly. Maintenance is another key difference between stainless steel and cast iron. Cast iron reacts with acidic foods like tomato sauce, citrus fruit, wine, and vinegar. It's also prone to rusting if you don't dry it thoroughly after cleaning. Because of that, you need to periodically season your cast iron pan. I'll link to my video explaining the right way to season cast iron in the description, but the short version is that you need to coat it in oil and bake it in the oven for around an hour. The main purpose of seasoning cast iron is to create a protective layer that prevents rust, but if you do it the right way, it also also creates a slick surface and makes it easy to cook eggs and other delicate foods without sticking. Maintaining stainless steel cookware is much easier. Since it's not reactive and won't rust easily, you don't need to season it. However, because it's not coated and doesn't have a layer of seasoning baked into the surface, foods like eggs are more prone to sticking. In general, cast iron cookware is less expensive than stainless steel. The exact price varies by size and brand, but most cast iron skillets cost between $20 and $60. Lodge, which is one of the best-selling cast iron brands, sells their American-made 12-inch skillets for around $30. The price range is much wider for stainless steel. On the low end, you can find pieces for $25, but high-end, multi-clad cookware can cost over $200 for just one pan. So when should you use cast iron, and when should you use stainless steel? Cast iron is better for a few things. Because it's so thick and heavy and holds heat well, it's the better option for searing steaks, pork chops, chicken, and other meats. It's also better for cooking eggs, pancakes, and other delicate ingredients. When cast iron is well seasoned, it performs similarly to a nonstick pan. Lastly, cast iron is ideal for roasting, baking, and frying because it heats up gradually and maintains a consistent temperature over long periods. Because it heats slowly, you're less likely to burn food. Stainless steel is more of a go-to, everyday type of cookware. It heats fast and evenly, and you can use it to cook any type of food, including tomato sauces, soup, and other acidic and liquid heavy meals. Because it responds to temperature changes quicker, you have more control over the results. Stainless steel is also the best type of cookware for pan sauces. Since it's uncoated, cooking meat in a stainless steel pan creates fond, which is the brown stuck on bits of concentrated meat flavor at the bottom of the pan. If you deglaze the pan with wine, broth, or other liquids, the fond and the liquids combine to make a delicious pan sauce. The one major problem with stainless steel cookware is food sticking. It's easy to ruin eggs, and cleaning sticky stainless steel pots is no fun. If you want to learn how to cook with stainless steel without sticking, check out this video. I walk through the common mistakes and explain the right way to use stainless steel cookware. This video has already helped over 2 million people gain confidence in the kitchen. And don't forget to click the logo to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.